This is not meant to deter you, derail you, scare you. This is not a negative view and this is not meant to hamper your journey in any way. In this video, if you haven't seen by the title, I will be covering why cybersecurity is so stressful. Because yes, yes it is. It is a very stressful space to be and there are a few reasons why and in this video I will tell you exactly why. All right, let's start with how do I know this? I've been in cybersecurity for over 10 years. I've been in multiple different roles, some technical, some not so technical, some architecture type roles, some strategic roles, some governance roles. And now I am a cloud security architect, I'm Microsoft MVP, and I share information that can help you on your journey. Now, before we start with the stressful part, let's put a few facts out there. Cybersecurity is an extremely rewarding and lucrative career. You can have a super happy life in cybersecurity, even though it is a stressful job. Hence why I started the video by telling you that this should not deter you. It should, in a sense, prepare you for what's to come so that you know that it is not all sunshine and roses. You're going to have a difficult time. You are going to have to learn, you know, to navigate multiple different avenues if you really want to be successful in your cybersecurity career. You're going to have to learn some resilience tactics and a whole lot of other things which I'll cover. So just know that this is from my experience, firstly, if the video resonates with you, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity content. And now let's get into it. The first one is when you start in cybersecurity, you learn the art of what is possible. And I mean this in multiple facets, right? So imagine this. Imagine a world where you are not a cybersecurity professional. You use technology on a daily basis. You know that there are vulnerabilities, there are updates, there are certain risks, but you know, you don't know what's possible with those. I mean, I'm sure people who don't know the art of what's possible from a cyber criminal perspective and how things can be exploited and how things are used from a black hat perspective, those people sleep much better at night. When you are a cyber security it's like becoming an officer and you learn all these things and now you have to learn to sleep with those things in your mind at night because you cannot fix everything at once and sometimes there are things that will take a very long time to be fixed and now these risks and vulnerabilities and all of these misconfigurations and all of these things will just linger and linger and linger because you have to prioritize what needs to be done what there's budget for what is the core focus etc etc and once you learn the art of what is possible it always lingers in the back of your mind and it can be somewhat exhausting because because you're also the person that's trying to advocate for good in the organization but most people think that you're just there being annoying now this has changed granted over the last few years this has changed you know somewhat significantly in many organizations as the threat landscape has evolved and as more and more companies are getting hacked and reputation damage and businesses are going you know they're going out of business because of cybersecurity incidents really and the more this has happened the better the opportunity has become for cybersecurity professionals to, you know, explain risks, get funding for addressing risks, etc. But I mean, that always lingers. Like once you know the art of what's possible and what can be exploited and what can be done with a small thing like an RDP port or SMB or something that's exposed to the internet that shouldn't be, you're not sleeping that easy at night. Number two, and this one is now going a little bit more personal, but you're always behind. You're always behind. Firstly, in many ways, there's always someone that started before you and you feel like you're constantly behind. Even though cybersecurity is such a massive space and no one, no one knows it all in cybersecurity. I don't care how many years someone has been in the industry, no one knows it all. So imagine you're the person that's starting and you're always trying to catch up or you're pivoting. I mean, I've mentioned I've been in multiple roles in cybersecurity. The latest is the cloud security space and I've pivoted from an information and cybersecurity role into cloud security. And with that, the ramp up to gain cloud security knowledge has been massive. And with that, even though I have a vast background of overall cybersecurity skills, it still does not take away from the fact that you always feel behind. So that's from a people perspective. You always feel behind the other people that have started because cybersecurity is based on the 
contextual concept of knowledge. If you have context and knowledge, then you are able to apply your skills, right? And so it's just like that. People who have been in that role for longer than you, they have more context, they have more knowledge and they have more skills. And therefore you always feel behind. Now there's many ways, and I mean, I can make a whole video on this because this has pretty much impacted me my entire career with always feeling behind, but not many people are speaking up about it. I think people are feeling that way inside, but not many are speaking up about it, you know? So let me know if that's something you're interested in and I will make another video about that but that's the one aspect of feeling behind and then you also always feel behind on the threat landscape perspective and on the learning journey so every single day there's news in cybersecurity. there's a new vulnerability there's a new threat there's new technologies there's just all these different things that's consistently introduced and it consistently bombards the world of cybersecurity professionals and you have to constantly keep up to date with these things you know it's like you have to have your own newsletters and news forums and you have to keep up to date with these things. I've shared in some previous videos, I'll try to link it down below the videos, but I've shared some of my top resources on how I stay up to date. But that's one thing to keep in mind is that you're never free of knowledge. Like when you think you're going to listen to your favorite podcast, sure, but also add a cybersecurity news podcast to that if you want to stay up to date on the go, for example. And then there's the official and formal learning, right? You're always learning new things, which is great. I mean, this is a great life skill and I wouldn't trade it for the world. But in cybersecurity, it is absolutely necessary. If you don't learn and you don't certify and you don't gain more skills, you fall behind, significantly far behind. So this is something really to keep in mind is that your life starts to revolve around this being kind of your habit and your happy place and all of that. And for me, for the most part, that has worked well because I am a very nerdy person. I like cybersecurity. It's more like my hobby and my job. So I don't mind learning things at randomly weird hours and going down a rabbit hole of learning in cybersecurity. But that's something to keep in mind. And when you put that together with your full-time job, always staying up to date with the news, always trying to catch up, and then you also have to learn and you also have to certify and you also have to, you know, network with professionals and you also have to do all these things Things, then it can become a bit much and that genuinely over time does put you into a state of stress and I think the final thing which has been a personal one for me specifically and I think for many many people in the industry is the fact that sometimes unfortunately the lack of diversity in the industry introduces the mindset that you have to constantly prove yourself when you step into a room full of people that might be much older than you, much more experienced than you, and they just don't look like you. I mean, for me, I've had some of the best mentors and male allies in my career, and I will continue to say that. And even with that support, I have still had the feeling of imposter syndrome in this industry, in the jobs that I've had weigh heavily on me. It is like you have to prepare double as much as someone else who's gonna join that meeting just to make sure you have all the knowledge, you're equipped to answer all of the questions. Now, that is a good thing and a bad thing in itself, right? Because firstly, it's a bad thing from a mindset and awareness perspective, but it's a good thing from a knowledge perspective. I mean, I would say 100%, I wouldn't put myself into this knowledgeable category that I have kind of gradually moved into if I didn't put myself into the constant spot of making sure double checking and triple checking everything is that the right thing to do i don't think so with all the burden that we already have in our roles in cybersecurity, we're already understaffed we already need more skills so is that the right thing to do to put yourself under pressure to check and triple check everything just because you have some type of feeling and just because maybe there is an imposed or an underlying kind of mental biased feeling i don't think it's the right thing and i think that it does 
does cause so much burnout and so much pressure just mentally being in that position constantly. So like I've said, for me, I've learned a lot of tactics. I've done a lot of mindset work to overcome the feeling. You know, the feeling that overcomes you when you realize you're the only person that looks like you. You're the only female, maybe. You're the only one who, you know, is relied on to have that kind of technical knowledge. And then you constantly get bombarded or questioned or things like that. I've done a lot of work in order to overcome some of that. But those are just a few things as to why cybersecurity really is is a little bit more of a stressful workspace. Now, as you would have noted, I don't have any gripe with the job of cybersecurity. I absolutely love cybersecurity as a career space. I think it is top tier. I think anyone who aspires to get into cybersecurity should do that. I think the industry is making massive strides to actually change the landscape for us and build a little bit more buffer and time and tolerance. And there's a lot of specified roles and areas and categories these days where you can only maybe look at things that impact your Space to cut off kind of a, the mental noise of all the rest that's going on. But with that, these are just my findings of why you should be aware that cybersecurity can be an absolutely stressful job, but it is also a highly rewarding job. And that is it, friends, for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you took it in the most positive and informative way possible. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and I'll catch you next time. Bye.